Hi, I'm Chris Bakigard, Director of Engineering for the Metro Flood Diversion Authority. Work started on a new component of the FM Area Diversion Comprehensive Project this month, with prep work beginning at the Red River Structure site. The structure will be the third and largest of the three gated control structures on the diversion program. As work starts there, it's wrapping up on the first stretch of the southern embankment. Final grading followed by grass seeding is taking place on the three mile long segment known as SE1. Construction on SE2A, the next stretch of the 20 mile long embankment, will begin this summer. Things are looking different over at the Wild Rice River structure, where two radial arm tainter gates recently arrived. Like those at the Diversion Inlet structure, the gates will be assembled on site and installed later this year. Additional concrete also was poured at the base of the structure. The dam walls will be constructed on this slab. It's interesting to note the concrete needed to build the Wild Rice structure is enough to fill four Olympic-sized swimming pools. As our drone view takes us onto the four mile long I-29 road race, we can see that the beams have been installed on the bridge structure this month while work continues on the road. This portion of the project will be complete in 2024, three years before the entire project will be ready to provide permanent flood protection.